Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Today is the second recorded session for grade 10, Surah Al Kahf. According to this surah, we are going to learn some stories and some lessons of the surah. As all of you know, that Surah Al Kahf is the found or this surah. Uh, is the 18th chapter of the Quran. It includes four historical stories which we can drive amazing lessons from. There are many benefits to being familiar with the Surah. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, one who memorized the first 10 verses of Surah Al-Kahf will be secure or protected against a Dajjal, the one who comes before the Day of Judgment. These are the main lessons from the four stories of Surah Al-Kahf. Number one, the story of the people of the cave. This story is about a number of young men who were driven out of their homes because they believed in Allah. They ended up in a cave where Allah made them sleep for many years, approximately 309 lunar years, which is 300 solar years. When they woke up, they felt they had slept for a day or a half a day. One of them went to the town to get some food, thinking that the people would recognize and harm him, only to find himself among a different people. The people of the town were amazed at his appearance of this man and the old coins he was using. The story shows us how Allah protects the righteous who believe in him no matter how hard their situation is. The second story here the story of the man who owns two gardens. This is a story about a man who owned two beautiful gardens, but he became arrogant and told his friend, I'm greater than you in wealth and they have more servants and attendants and children. This is a story, as we say, the man forgot to be thankful for the bounties Allah has bestowed upon him. Hence, Allah destroyed his gardens. This story is a lesson to those who take worldly matters for granted and forget that all that they have is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and he is capable of taking it all away if he wills. The third story is the story of Musa and the Khidr. Prophet Muhammad sallam once said, Once Musa stood up and addressed Banu Israel. He was asked, who is the most knowledgeable man amongst the people? He said, I. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to teach him a lesson. So Allah said to him, yes. <clears throat> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said and just told him that there is another man who is more knowledgeable than you. And at the junction of the two seas, there is a slave of mine who is more learned than you, than you can meet him. Musa said, Oh my Lord, how can I meet him? So Allah SWT instructed Musa as to where to find the man who was knowing as Al Khadr, the green one. Musa goes on a journey with Al Khadr where he learned that Allah bestows his knowledge on whoever he wishes. Nobody should ever feel he or she is the most knowledgeable. As all knowledge belongs to Allah, hence Al-Khadr says, and I did it not of my own accord. So we learn from this lesson or this story that no one is more knowledgeable than Allah SWT. Allah is the most knowledgeable. Story is the story of Dhul Karnain. Dhul Karnain 
Dulkarnain was a righteous and just king who traveled the lands from the west to the east. The Quran mentions the three of his journeys. On his last journey, he reaches a place between two mountains where he met a tribe of people. They asked him to build a wall between them and the people of Gog and Magog, Yajuj or Majuj, who were causing mischief in the land. Dulkarnain agreed to do so. Dulkarnain was not proud of his achievements. In fact, the Quran mentions that after he built the great wall. The Prophet ﷺ said, here, so this is the last story in the Quran of this surah. So we need before leaving you, know that the Prophet ﷺ says, whoever reads Surah Al-Kahf on Friday, Allah will bestow upon him light between those two Fridays. Thank you so much. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our deeds. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.